Hello, in part one of the proposal tool video, we went over an introduction on how to add in text boxes, images, and placeholders. We also created a cover for our proposal. In part two, you will learn how to add in various types of charts, design images, as well as tables. Let's start off with adding in some charts to present to our customer. On the right hand side, click on the add icon and on the chart icon in the sub menu. I'll go ahead and add this to the next page. Click, hold, and drag where you'd like this to go. Aurora defaults to an annual cash flow chart. If you'd like to change the type, there are several to choose from. By right clicking on the chart you've added, a properties box will appear. In the drop down menu next to type, you can select from cumulative cash flows. You're also able to show your customers monthly production and consumption a pre-solar and post-solar electricity bill chart, an electricity mix, which includes the offset percentage, and lastly, you are able to present a lifetime bill comparison chart. I'm going to go ahead and include the electricity mix chart in addition to the electricity bill chart. I'm going to modify and expand my charts to line things up nicely by clicking and dragging the borders. In the properties box, you can also modify the colors of each portion of the chart. You can type in the hex color code or click on the color directly. Let's change the second chart to an electricity bill chart and then modify the color. Aurora's proposal tool also allows you to present 2D and 3D views of your system design that will help boost your closing rate. In the toolbar on the right, I'll select the 2D icon, then click, hold, and drag where I'd like this to go. In the template, this will show up as a box that says 2D and 3D in the background. However, in your final proposal, this will automatically populate based on a specific project you are working on. I'll show you the final version soon. Same thing for 3D. Lastly, we'll include some tables. On the right-hand side, there are three tables to select from. There is a cash flow table that will give more details on the economics of your solar installation, a detailed bill of materials table to show the types of components you use, and a monthly bill savings table. I'm going to add in the cash flow table to my template on the next page. Click, hold, and drag to expand the table. You can adjust the text and zoom by right-clicking on the table so that the properties box appears. Underneath where it says block, you can click on show more and adjust the zoom. You can also select which columns you'd like to present. Maybe you'd like to include the principal payment of your loan and prepayment. Simply check off the corresponding boxes. I'm going to save here by clicking on the last icon in the toolbar on the right and populate our final proposal. Here we have our final proposal for Joe Solar, his address and contact information of the user in Aurora. I can't move any images around or edit any information. However, I can edit the title if I need to since I checked off the editable box in the properties box of the template section. If I scroll on down to our charts, you'll notice that the numbers have changed according to the financing option we simulated for this customer. For 2D and 3D views of the system design, they have been populated. I can select which visualization parameters I'd like to appear by right-clicking on the block. For 2D, maybe I'd like to include satellite imagery. 
and a radiance map. I can also adjust the placement and modify the zoom. For 3D, I can adjust the zoom and shift the perspective. By right clicking, I can choose whether to include the ground plane or the trees, for example. Lastly, I can print my final proposal to a PDF in the top right hand corner and save. You're all set to create an award-winning proposal with Aurora. Feel free to email us at support at aurorasolar.com if you have any questions and follow us on social media to receive new feature updates.